people around the NFL, they're fearful of the regression you may see with Jordan Love. I'd love to see another four or five games. Jordan Love is better than Dak. You did watch a 27 to nothing lead in Dallas with a much younger team, full of guys one and two years out of college. What quarterback situation do you feel the best about or the worst about in that division? Not just for this year, but over the next five years. I mean, without a doubt, Tom, it's got to be Jordan Love and the Green Bay Packers. I mean, you look at him really the last 10 games of the year, 70% completion, 2,100 passing yards, 18 touchdowns. Howdy and welcome on in Packers fan, Green Bay Packers fans. Happy to have you. We have a few things that we have got to discuss we got to talk about a few things number one thing of course i have to talk about my thoughts on jordan love and and how the media is really like not giving him the light he deserves he deserves a much brighter light and other quarterbacks are kind of getting what he deserves but we'll get into that later and then we need to talk about the receivers right we kept saying last year how very young these guys are how much inexperience they don't have romeo dobbs is going into year three okay and then christian watson is going into year three as well these guys are becoming legitimate pros this is the year three uh turn that they definitely should be making so we should be seeing a lot of this is like contract here contract stuff so we're gonna that and then in the running back room, I think it's so important to really shine a bright light on the running back room because this is going to this is going to be the specific room that's going to help out Jordan Love a lot. So first things first, Jordan Love, I, I've just been seeing so many, so many quarterback rankings lists of lately. And for whatever reason, I think it's recency bias. I think it's people forgetting I think most people, especially in the media, have some type of amnesia or some type. They just forget things. Um, and the simple fact that Jordan Love shocked a lot of people. This was supposed to be the guy that filled filled the shoes of Aaron Rodgers. And, and there were so many horrible things that happened in the beginning of the season. And usually when you have a, an assignment to fill the shoes of Aaron Rodgers and things don't go the way you want them to go very early in the season... Some people just kind of go into the hole and they kind of go through the motions, but not Jordan Love. The the things he did last year, especially in the back end of the season with having former running back Aaron Jones, which I think is it's a huge loss. But what you guys brought in, it, it's still beautiful within itself. But my heart, right? My heart of heart. I got to be honest. All of the love that CJ Stroud is getting, I don't get how that is not going to Jordan Love. I don't. I do. I just... I just don't understand. I feel like the, all the rankings that CJ Stroud is getting, Jordan Love should be getting the same amount as praise. And, and I get it. I get the whole, you know, he's been in the league since 2021, but he's been in a freaking closet. And, you know, when the Hall of Famer Aaron Rodgers is out there on the field and this kid finally gets his first shoe in in 2023 and throws for over 4,000 passing yards, like, what Where, where's the nervousness where's the anxiousness where's the ability to not overcome obstacles 32 touchdowns 11 interceptions and then a quarterback rating of 96.1 and like i said if the media i don't know if they don't care i don't know if he's not maybe maybe it's his personality i'm starting to think that because i can't even really describe how his his personality is he he could just not have something that's potent to where media wants to glamorize him and put him on that you know pedestal of the next up and coming quarterbacks but like i said every time i see a top 10 rankings and it's by espn by nfl by bleacher report jordan love is not in it but cj stroud is Dak prescott is and wait hold on my brain is actually a little foggy who showed up in the biggest lights was it Jordan Love or was it Dak Prescott? Hmm. Last year in the playoffs. Hmm. I, I'm pretty sure it was Jordan Love and the Green Bay Packers that were beating the living daylights. Day, was it 27 to 7 at half? 27 to 3? Something disgusting like that? Anyways, uh, I think that within itself, Jordan Love is getting a lot of Jordan hate. And personally, I genuinely believe it's just because he's lacking a pizzazz that he's there's something about his personality that i don't think the media really wants to cling to it you see josh allen everyone loves him because he's funny he's a guy's guy he's a good old boy and then there's things with she just shout he's funny he's into that la slang that la style so there's something nice about him 
Jordan Love, he's just a kid that has a crazy arm that can rip things. He's 25 years old. All right, from Bakersfield, California. He went to Utah State. Maybe that has something to do with it. But like I said, at the end of the day, I just genuinely believe from the things that Jordan Love needed, needed. Jordan Love doesn't do this season. If Jordan, Love's, if Jordan Love doesn't have the 4,000 passing yards or 32 touchdowns, the Packers are considering a quarterback in this upcoming draft. And so uh, at the end of everything, at the end all be all, the that 49ers game in the playoffs, how close you guys were, how close you guys were. And, and maybe that would have been, you know, the game that really put Jordan on the map. And so maybe maybe it's a, a, a test or maybe it's a challenge for the media. If Jordan Love beats the 49ers in the playoffs, boy, boy, does that not change narratives? And do you guys not make things interesting against the Lions, your divisional opponent that would be, you know, what you guys would have played in the NFC Championship? Oh, man, like, what are we what are we doing? Where are we going? And then I, I do want to talk about this. I do want to talk about the receivers and I do want to talk about the running backs. But now I'm thinking about it in real time. We really need to put an emphasis on everything. The media is giving the attention to the Bears, a team that you did better than last year. Even the Vikings, you know, they're in the they're in the media as well with having Justin Jefferson on the receivers, Netflix video, and JJ McCarthy and Jordan Addison. They're getting a lot of headway as well. And then of course the Detroit Lions. They're supposed to be this up and coming team of hey, Super Bowl or bust. This is the agenda. This is the new standard. Dan Campbell this, Dan Campbell that. I like the Lions. I know y'all hate them. But at the end of the day, who has ran the division up and down, up and down for the past 30 years? Whose division is it? Uh, just like we, we can't do this. Uh, and I just the media, they're going to make you guys into something powerful. It's going to be something that's going to move and change. And, and really, it just does not make sense that all of a sudden you guys replace a hall of fame quarterback and then get a young talented quarterback in the building and i just feel like everything is just super duper quiet super duper quiet to the media and i feel like jordan loves not getting his due marshall lloyd and the new star running back and josh jacobs coming out of las vegas uh formerly with the raiders i think this yin yin yang this 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 one two punch is going to be beautiful i had marshall lloyd as running back three coming out of the draft coming out of usc a uh, very, very athletic. I actually had a moment to speak with him at the Senior Bowl. The guy's all dialed in. And I feel as if, and I believe as if, Josh Jacobs is the perfect mentor. They're both very similar in stature. Marshall Lloyd's going to get a little, little bit bigger after this season, but we've seen the things that Josh Jacobs is doing. But I want to know, with running backs, with them getting older, with them uh, changing scenarios, changing areas, changing teams, changing cities... Are you guys really bold about what he can do in his year one in Green Bay? And if there are, I don't know if there are any of you out there that want Marshawn Lloyd to get a little bit of action early and often in his rookie season. I really like Marshawn Lloyd and I really like Josh Jacobs. No one is talking about the Green Bay Packers. Truly, genuinely. And I think it's because it's just like y'all don't have, it's not flashy. Now, I, I do believe there is a potential uh, superstardom media wise just of, of, of attention with Jordan Love and Christian Watson linking up but even Romeo Dubs and and you and I we've all we went through this whole thing last year I think Romeo Dubs with all respect to Christian and Jaden Reed I think he's the best one I think he's the best one in everyone that's just what I think that's just what's going through my head I would hope Jaden Reed Christian Watson, Romeo Dubs, Josh Jacobs, Marshall Lloyd, and Jordan Love just figure it out. And then I'm seeing all this talent. I'm seeing all this talent, and we haven't even discussed the brilliant mind of Matt LaFleur. You guys are fine. I have, if no one's told you guys anything yet, which I don't think anyone has, I'm going to be ready for you guys to really kill things for sure this year. Let me know if you agree. Let me know what your thoughts are on the team and where you guys are at. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe.